You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey there, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and today we're excited to show you the Wrap Gold Plastic Cast. It's a plastic and bedding starter set, and it's all original in the box. So this is what the set includes. Yes, and it's all in there. And the box, you see the Happy Family right there, making their plastic cast molds. You can make cufflinks, a necklace, a paperweight, another type of paperweight. It says permanently preserve the colorful beauty of butterflies, coins, seashells, photographs, and clear plastic blocks. And we are going to show you that today. So the rest of the box is pretty much the same. Rapco ink there. And it's a duplicate there. There's nothing on the back. So let's open it up because that's what we want to see, right? All the cool stuff inside. There you go. It has the original instructions. So see, you could put a sand timer in there, seashells, a lucky penny. Let's put a lucky penny. That's a dime, by the way. It looks like a dime. All the instructions tell you what to do. So we're going to actually do a layered uh, paperweight here by following these instructions. Now, the issue we had is the original plastic cast is as hard as a rock. So we cannot use that. So we went out and we got Easy Cast, which is a similar product. So we're going to do that. We're going to use this mold. And we're going to make a cool paperweight out of that. Now there's also the mold for the different pendants and cufflinks. And then there's just a round mold for that they use for a paperweight. So the other supplies in here also can't use. The hardener and then the, the um, what's called opaque black, the pigment. We're not going to use that. There's a polishing compound, the mixing sticks, and the original cups. It's kind of neat to find it all intact like this. And then in the bag is the cufflinks, a money clip holder, and a keychain thing. So that's really it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this mold and we're going to embed some of our own objects in there. We've got them right here. We've got some glass, we've got a seashell, some little spirally metal things, this cool little star. So I'll tell you what, hang tight here. We're going to get this reset up. We're going to show you how to make a paperweight, okay? Hold on a second. Okay, we're back. Now the first thing we had to do, per the instructions, is check to make sure our mold uh, was the proper kind of mold. You can't just use any soap mold, it says. You have to have the right mold for this kind of material. So this one came with the molding set, so we know we're good there. And we also need to double check our volume. You do that by filling this with water and then putting it in a measuring cup. So we know it's between the two ounces and the four ounces, so we need three ounces of material to make this here. So if we have to layer it, which we're going to do, we're probably just going to put about an ounce and then an ounce and then an ounce and try to get little pieces in the layers to get to the three ounces. So it's going to take a while for the mold to dry. So it's going to be multiple steps here. So we'll have to go in and out of the video. So now, next thing you do, you get a container to put your materials in. So let's set this aside. Now we're going to mix equal parts of the hardener and the main uh, resin. Okay, so let's do that. Let's open it up. Remember, well ventilated area, ventilated area. Read your instructions, please. So we'll do that much first. And then we'll match that with this. We'll just put them side by side and see where we're at here. So a little more of this one. Now you do not want to touch this. Need to be in a ventilated area. Okay, so now we're set. So we're going to mix this. Gonna keep going until it's really mixed. Now follow your instructions on this. This is important to really mix this well. Now if you're gonna embed like we are, you're gonna have to do it in stages because they want you to put a little bit in, then get your pieces prepped, put them in there. After it dries, that first step going to dry, then you put your embed pieces in there. Then you pour another layer on top of that, and you continue depending on how much embedding you want to do. You can't just put the pieces in to a 
liquid like this. And it also says don't worry about the air bubbles that are in there. And you have to prep the pieces too, so it's important you follow the directions on this. Okay, I'd say we mix this pretty good. Let me just see here. It looks like we might have to put a little bit more of this one in. There we go. I noticed it wasn't perfect. I want it perfect. Mix a little bit more. So this will take a while to set. So what we're going to do is pour it in and then we're going to have to wait probably a half hour or longer until it gets to be a little firm. Once it's a little firm then we can come back prep our contents and start laying them in. Okay, so I think we're good here. Get this out of here. Let's pour the first amount in. Let me turn the camera down. Alright, so we're going to go and do the first pour. That's about one ounce there, I can tell. So what we have to do now is wait. So we'll check back. Remember now what we're going to put in here are these pieces. Now these can't just be plopped in here now, they're going to sink to the bottom. We don't want that. So we got to let this dry and you prep the pieces by putting them in to the material and then putting them on top of the mold so that they don't create air bubbles. Read the instructions, all right? So we'll check back in just a second. All right, uh, so we moved some things around here so it looks a little different here because we wanted to make sure that this was set. Now a couple things we need to point out. There is a sealer or a protectant you put on your mold before you put the stuff in. It's important to put that on there. And uh, what else? Now they do say when you mix the ingredients to do it proportionately and measure it. We just kind of, you know, eyeballed it. So follow your instructions. Now I've put in another batch here. We're kind of ready. This layer here is pretty, pretty good. It's a little jelly-like, which is the way they want it. Now we're kind of using different directions here. We followed the manufacturer one. But there was also some that came originally with the mold kit that we showed you. So here again, we're going to mix this really good. Now the mold kit that we had said for objects like this, you just want to set them in here first and then put them in the mold. So we're going to do that. Now if you're using uh, other materials, they do have different sprays you can spray on them. Like if it's a flower or something soft or a picture, you have to protect it. Otherwise it's not going to work. So follow your instructions. Now, if you missed a step here, or you did a little differently, I don't know. That's just the way it is sometimes, you know. Or I forgot to say something, like, hey, protect your mold. Okay, so we're mixing this pretty good. Now, we brought in the tweezers here. We don't want to use our fingers. Now, they do say when you put this on, the next layer, you want to cover it. If you're going to use a penny, dip it in the solution first. You don't have air bubbles underneath, so it's got a nice coating on it. So we're going to actually, remember, we're upside down too. Everything we're doing is upside down. Because you want to flip it over and lay flat when it's all done, right? So we'll set that to the side. Now we thought, hey, let's put this in the layer. This is really pretty. So we're going to lay it down this way, upside down, so it's the right way up. So we're going to just take it, we're going to put it in our, and well, let's just lay it in there, our solution. Cover it real good. And we're going to take it out and lay it in. Okay, so that layer looks nice. Let's just get it nice to where we want it. Then we'll maybe put a couple little things around it. Maybe a shell. So I'm kind of putting some stuff in here. A couple of those. You know, stuff that's going to fit. Not everything we picked is going to fit perfect. So now we're going to take one of these squigglies, we'll just lay it next to that. Okay, and we'll take this shell, we'll squeeze it in here. Let me tilt this down just a little. Can you see all that? And then we're going to take this blue colored, lightly colored rock and set it there. Yeah, it looks like we can fit a few more in there. So we got another squiggly in here. We'll put it on that side to kind of balance it off. All right. And then another rock. It's the first time we've done this, so, you know, it's a learning curve for us also. You experts out there, you probably have done this before and you know exactly what you're doing. Okay, I think that's good. We need one more, though. I think this green one, we got this green piece. 
This will be our last layer. I might have to mix a little more to top this off. So now we're all embedded in there. So we'll pour our solution on there to finish this off. Looks like we're going to fill it pretty good. So now all those are cast in there, see? I would say that's it. Could use a little more to top it off. So I'm just going to quickly mix a little bit, tiny, tiny bit. Okay. Now, of course, if you're being exact, you would have measured your exactly. Remember, this is a three ounce mold. You would have done your one and a half, one and a half, but. This is just for demonstration purposes. And we've explained to you what you need to do. So I'm mixing, mixing, mixing. I'm going to pour it in. They did say don't worry about air bubbles. So that's it. Let me shoot you a close-up here of that. So I'm not going to worry about the air bubbles. I'm just going to tilt the camera down just a little. And that's what we have. So the last video will show you this coming out of the mold. And what we have... Okay, there you go. You've seen it now. We've got everything embedded in there. So the last thing really is to take it out of the mold and show you what it looks like when it's done. So how about we uh, we'll check back. You know, it's going to take a while. Could be overnight. So I'm going to go hang out. Maybe I'll subscribe to the channel here. Maybe I'll leave a comment. Hey, that's what you should be doing while you're waiting. Should happen pretty quick. See you in a second. All right, so that's it. I think everything was surprisingly good. Uh, the only thing we recommend that uh, we had an issue with is we didn't have enough mold release on this top outer edge. Everything else slipped out really nice. Uh, so we got some chafing there. We had to kind of cut that out. Uh, but okay, you know what? It's our first one. And for our first one, you got to cut us a little slack there. We'll get better at it. We just wanted to show you this cool vintage kit, which we did, and we made something, you know? That's neat, isn't it? So take on a challenge, just like we did. It's fun. Have a good time. Subscribe to the channel. Click the link below. We do appreciate you watching the video. Later. Thanks for watching our product video. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.